Hello and welcome to West Wiltshire and to my church. And here we have a John Broadwood and Son concert grand piano, which was made in 1866. I bought the piano from a piano dealer in Yorkshire and it was a trade piano sold to me in need of restoration. Uh, I had no idea of its provenance. I was really attracted by the, this lovely walnut case and all this rather sumptuous gold decoration on the side. So I thought it was probably a special order piano, but I had no idea for whom. Um, so I checked with the John Broadwood archive, and they have a record of every piano ever made by Broadwood and the year in which it was built. And I discovered that it was originally purchased by Henry Willis, the English organ builder, better known as Father Willis, who built several of England's greatest cathedral organs, such as St Paul's and Salisbury and Truro. So Willis then gifted the piano to Sir James Tyler, who was his patron and who paid for the organ at the Great Exhibition in 1851. That organ, incidentally, is now in Winchester Cathedral. Tyler was Queen Victoria's personal bodyguard and a member of the Corps of Gentlemen at Arms, of which he eventually became lieutenant and received a knighthood. And he was also a guardian of the Foundling Hospital in London. So you can imagine this lovely piano in Tyler's music room on Holloway Road in London, alongside Father Willis's organ that he built for him, also sumptuously decorated in gold. And that organ is now in the chapel at Barnard Castle School. When I received the piano, as I've mentioned, it was in need of restoration. And I hired a very good local restorer called Stephen Cooper from Froome. Stephen has a real love of these old instruments and is a highly skilled restorer of them. And uh, we, he set about restoring the instrument, which required the soundboard to be uh, fixed because it had one or two splits in it. And also the casework needed to be fixed and restained. The casework had got bleached by the sun over the years. And uh, if you want to know what the original colour of a case should be, then you need to look at the fall over the keyboard. If I just lift it down, you can see here that the, the colour is very natural, very dark. That was, of course, much darker than, than the, the bleached sides to the piano. In addition to restating the case, Steve also had to restring the instrument and we decided to keep the original hammerheads. Uh, very often on these instruments, the hammers are very worn and need to be replaced. But Steve was able to uh, re, uh, repurpose them uh, so that they now play beautifully. The sound of this instrument is ideal for most 19th century repertoire. Of course, the stringing on a piano like this is very different from a modern piano. The strings go straight out from the player. It's called straight stringing, as opposed to the modern piano where the, the, the strings cross one another. But Beethoven is lovely on this instrument. So is Chopin. In fact, Chopin, when he visited London on one of his tours, played a Broadwood grand piano. Um, not dissimilar to this, but an earlier model. Liszt was also very fond of the Broadwoods. And Sir Edward Elgar, who died in 1934, owned a Broadwood piano himself. So it always gets me thinking who might have played this piano while it was in Sir James Tyler's music room. It's fanciful to think that Queen Victoria might have visited him for tea. And it's also fanciful to think that uh, Franz Liszt might have visited him and, and played it. Uh, of course, he might not have done, but lovely to think that he might have done. So here it is, um, a lovely instrument of the mid-19th century period. 
It's worth mentioning that pianos from this period for a long time weren't really regarded with uh, any special high regard at all. Um, everybody thought that pianos after 1840 weren't worth bothering with. But things are changing because people are now doing period performances not just of the Baroque era and the classical era, but also of the Romantic era, of Mendelssohn and of Schubert and of Liszt and other 19th century composers. And this piano is ideal for all of those. I'm going to now play you one of Mendelssohn's Song Without Words, his Opus 19, number one. The perfect music for a mid-19th century Broadwood concert grand piano. Thank you. 
If anybody's interested in coming to record on this piano, or indeed on any of the instruments here in my collection, then please do get in touch on my website, www.malcolmarcher.com. And if you're enjoying these videos, then please do like and subscribe.